Hey, Neil Smith here. In this video, we use Mercator sailing to solve for true course and distance to a destination, given the coordinates of the start point and the destination. Come on, let's get this. Mercator sailing, practice problem six. A vessel at latitude 45 degrees, 36.0 minutes north, longitude 11 degrees, 36.0 minutes west, heads for a destination at latitude 24 degrees, 16.0 minutes north, longitude 73 degrees, 52.0 minutes west. Determine the true course and distance by Mercator sailing. So first we are going to find our little l by, by finding the difference between latitude one and latitude two. So let's keep track, we got problem six, lat one is equal to latitude one, 45 degrees, 36.0 minutes north. 45 degrees, 36.0 minutes north. Huh. North. And latitude two is equal to 24 degrees, 16.0 minutes north. 40, 24. 24 degrees, 16.0 minutes north. And so now we have to figure out which way we went. So if we go from 45 degrees north to 24, we went south. We headed this way, south, from 45 to 24. So we know that we are south. And now we can subtract the two because lat 1 is bigger than lat 2. So we just get zero, six minus zero, three minus one is two, that's 20 minutes, five minus four is one, four minus two is two, 21 degrees, 20.0 minutes south. And we're going to change these degrees into minutes. So we multiply degrees by 60 to get minutes. We get 21 times 60. Twenty one times sixty is twelve hundred sixty. So we get twelve hundred sixty plus these twenty minutes, and that is going to give us our little L. So little L is equal to twelve eighty. Twelve eighty degrees south. That's our little L. And now we need to find the meridional parts of lat 1 and lat 2. So M1 is meridional parts of lat 1. We take our lat 1, which is 4536, and we come over to our meridional parts table. And we find 45, which is here. And then we come all the way down to 36, which the minutes are over here and the degrees are up here. 45, 30. 6, 45, 36, and this 30 comes down. So we got 30, 64.7. 30, 64.7. We have 30, 64.7. And now we find M2, which is based on lat 2. So M2 is 2416. So we come up and we find 24 degrees and we find 16 on the side. So 24, 12, 13, 14, 16. So now you can see we have 14. And that comes down. So 1492.1. 1492.1. 1, 1492.1. And then we find the difference. And we find the difference the same way we did these. So 3064.7, 3064.7 minus 1492.1, 1492.1, 1572.6, 1572.6.
1572.6. So this is our little m. Little m equaled m1 minus m2. Now we can find d low by doing longitude 1 minus longitude 2. So we find longitude 1. And in some of the textbooks, these are represented by lambda 1 and lambda 2. I just like to write long 1 and long 2 because it's, it's easier for me to understand. Longitude 1 is here. Long 1, 11 degrees, 36 Point zero minutes west. 11 degrees, 36.0 minutes west. Longitude 2, 73.52. Longitude 2 equals 73 degrees, 52.0 minutes west. Is that right? 73.52. Good. Okay. So... Which way did we go? We went from 11 west to 73 west. So we went from about 11 west to 73 west. We went toward the west. So we went west. We can't subtract 73 from 11, so we have to switch these. So we're just going to kind of put lat long 2 over long 1. Long 2 equals 73 degrees, 52.0 minutes west. Long 1 equals 11 degrees, 36.0 minutes west. So we'll find the difference. 0, we borrow from here. 12, 6, 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. 7 minus 1 is 6. 62 degrees, 16.0 minutes. And we've got, I'm going to move it over here so it's all in the line. 62 degrees, 16.0 minutes west. And we're going to turn these 62 degrees into minutes. Multiplying by 60, there's 60 minutes and 1 degree. So when we multiply 62 degrees by 60, we get it into minutes. So 62 times 60, 62 times 60 equals 37, 3,720. 3,720. We add these 16 minutes up here, and this will equal our D low. So D low equals, it's going to be 3,736. 3,700. 36 minutes west. That's our D low. Now we get our quadrantal notation going. You can draw this chart and we have north, south, east, west. And we said we went south. So we went south and we are west. We went west. So our course is going to be somewhere in here. This angle will be represented by C. And the question is going to ask for CN, which is this angle, all the way around from north. CN is course from north. So from north all the way till our course, that means we're going to take this 180 here and add it to C. And our notation is going to be south, course, west. And so we are going to end up with CN is equal to this 180 plus our course. And we'll get this. So let's get our course. C is equal to tan inverse D low over M. And our D low is... Three seven three six and our M is one five seven two point six. One five seven two point six. And so this equals we got shift tan negative one 
three, seven, three, six divided by one, five, seven, two point six equals sixty seven point one seven two equals sixty seven point one seven two. This is our C. And so now we can take this C, move it up here and get our quadrantal and get our CN. So CN is going to equal 180 plus 67.172. So CN is equal to 67.172 plus 180. 247.172. 247.172. That's our CN. This will be part of the answers. And again, I just want to show you, we got this 180 here plus the C. That's how we came up with CN, course from north. Now, the last thing we need to do is find our distance. Distance is equal to L, little l, over cosine C, which is equal little l up here 1280 1280 divided by the cosine of 67.172 67.172 so distance is equal to let's punch it up 1280 divided by the cosine of 67. Point 172 is equal to 3299 3299.258. Okay, and this is going to be one of the answers. So let's come down here to six and check out what we got. So we have 247, we have two at 247, and then we have. 3299.3, 3299.3. So we are here at B. So 6 is B, and we can check our answers. 6 is B. We got the right answer. And that's Mercator Sailing, Practice Problem 6.